Law enforcement across the country remain on duty to ensure adherence to the state of emergency regulations. The Zambezi region is Namibia's gateway into Angola, Zambia and Botswana. Joining us now is Commissioner Carl Tron to discuss how their forces are managing those entry points. Good day, Commissioner, and thank you so much for joining us. Um, good day, and uh, thank you for having me. The Zambezi River borders uh, with Zambia and Angola, whose residents depend on Namibia for basic services like food, um, and of course on the northern side. How is law enforcement managing the border? Um, thank you very much. Um, for us here in Zambezi, the border with Angola is closed. Uh, it's only open with uh, Zam Zambia, only for the movement of trucks. Um, but so far, we did not um, get people who apply to come legally into Namibia for basic uh, medical uh, treatment or to come and buy food. What are some of the challenges faced by your officers, um, considering the vastness of the borderline? Yes, we have a couple of them. Um, uh, but to start with, is it is very difficult for us with the resources which we are having currently to patrol the area from Kamenga in the west to Impalila in the east. Uh, because on the one hand, you have to go on, on land, other one on the river. And there's so many illegal crossing points um, that we cannot manage to, to keep our members, the Namibian police and defense force, all time, all the day um, on the borderline. Mm -hmm. um, the other challenge which we're also having is when we are on uh, patrol, folks, uh, then when you pass a certain point, because there's a lot of um, illegal crossing points. So when you pass certain points, then we will just receive reports that um, uh, the nationals from Zambia have crossed into Namibia. Mm -hmm. So has anyone been found uh, trying to skip the border since the announcement of the state of emergency? Yes, we, we, we encounter and where we arrest um, two Namibian citizens who went into Zambia uh, and they come back again to Namibia, they were arrested. As we speak, they are currently in custody. They were tested by the health authorities and um, uh, they were charged according to the Proclamation 9 and they are currently in custody. Commissioner, is, are you able to say where exactly they are being kept and if they are actually um, under quarantine? Yes, um, at the Katima Mulilo border post, we have um, holding cells and they are currently being kept there because after they were tested by the authorities, we were advised that we have to keep them that side. Now, recently it was reported that, especially along the Kuanono Road um, and other flooded areas, people were not adhering to the set restrictions and continued to socialize in groups of more than 10. Can you fill us in on what measures law enforcement took in those cases uh, to correct them? Yes, thank you. Um, we received that report and from there we, we adapt our to our strategies, we um, conduct more patrols into that area. Uh, so we observe that there is somehow uh, adherence because we did not find anyone on that road to Luonono. Uh, maybe I can just add, they have shifted now, most of the people from partying, but uh, shifted to, to fishing, uh, illegal fishing. So. Yesterday, a number of people were arrested and they are currently being dealt with at our police station in Patima Mulilo. Mm -hmm. Finally, how would you rate the compliance of bars and shabins at the town? Thank you. Since we start with the operation um, on the 28th of March, there's total compliance. It's um, just few. 
uh, where we receive reports that people still selling alcohol uh, during uh, night time. What happened is that these uh, bar owners, they went and collect alcohol and take it somewhere into the suburbs and sell it there. But uh, as it happened, most of the time, the information came late to us. Um, so when we try to allocate uh, those people, it is very difficult to, to allocate them. But overall, I can say 99% uh, of our bar, club, and Sabine owners, they comply. Mm -hmm. We only have a difficulty in the rural areas where uh, people still uh, busy with the traditional uh, beers which they uh, brew there. But uh, our members on the, on the ground, they are also on top of the situation as we speak. Commissioner, we'd like to thank you so much for taking the time to chat to us and we wish you a happy Easter. Thank you very much uh, for having me and let me also wish you a happy Easter. All the best for the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. And that was Commissioner Carl Tron, Regional Commander for the Namibian Police in the Zambezi region. The Okahanja District